Hello, good morning, everyone. It's uh, Monday, April 13th. And uh, first of all, I'm hoping that you and your families are staying healthy and safe and well. And we are thinking about all of you and missing you and uh, missing the normal <laughs> routine of things, as I'm sure you are too. Um, I just wanted to reach out and make this quick video uh, to help answer some of the questions regarding the financial impact uh, that the pandemic has had on the school and some of the things that we're doing to help uh, reduce expenses and make it possible for us to stay solvent during this time. Uh, we just set up a web page for you to take a look at and uh, that'll help explain some of what we're doing in some graphs and charts to show you how we plan for this. But uh, in case it would be easier for you to hear it from me <laughs> directly, that's what this is for. So uh, a couple of things that we're doing is we've reduced our expenses largely by furloughing, unfortunately, two thirds of our staff. And that includes the almost the entire preschool staff and a number of other uh, elementary staff and administration staff, including myself. Um, we have applied for some of the emergency relief loans like the PPP and the EIDL loan. We haven't received any word yet, but we are checking in on a daily basis to see where we are in our qualification uh, of our application. And so we hope that ideally within the next week or so, we're going to hear back uh, on whether we received some of those relief funds. And what that would mean for us is that we want to, as soon as possible and without placing additional financial burden, onto the school or certainly to the families, uh, we want to bring back our staff as quickly as possible. And the PPP uh, loan would help us do that. Um, so that and some of the other expenses, some of the business expenses we have, we've been able to reduce. Uh, so in total, we've reduced our typical April projections by 37%, and that leaves 63% uh, of what we would normally pay in expenses uh, left to be paid by tuition dollars. And uh, we reached out to you, the families, to see which families were most severely financially impacted. We know a number of you have also been furloughed uh, or even laid off. And uh, a lot of families are feeling the pressure themselves. And we certainly didn't want to add to the pressure by asking families who couldn't afford their regular tuition to keep paying that. So we've been able to offer some relief to those families as well. And if you'll take a look at our website, you'll see which families have been able to continue to pay their full tuition and, and which families or the percentage of families that uh, have paid a reduced tuition based on what they reported to us uh, as a hardship on their families uh, financially as a result of the pandemic. Um, other questions have been along the lines of when do we expect to get back up and running? And I wish we could tell you. Uh, as I'm sure you know, if you've been following the news, there's a lot of confusion and uncertainty as to how long this will go. We, uh, we were just told yesterday that the safer at home policy has been extended through May 15th. So we know it will be at least that long uh, before we probably return to something that resembles the normal routine of things and possibly longer than that. Uh, so as we learn things, we will certainly keep you informed. Please check in on that web page that we just created. We'll try to keep that as current as possible with information. And I'll send more videos if you think that's helpful of hearing me talk about it. Um, and uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that's relevant. But please uh, send questions my way. You can send it at paul at lacitykids.com or mycitykidsla at gmail.com or, of course, feel free to, to email Ryan or Christina with questions. And we'll try our hardest to get that up and available, the answers online, uh, so you can read about them and uh, stay current. I'm hoping all of you are doing okay. Uh, and we, we certainly miss all of you and uh, we miss... We missed how things used to be not that long ago with crazy times. Um, all right, I'm looking forward to hearing from you. And like I said, please email me with any questions you have. Stay safe, please.